Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be sharing the cards I made using Love From Lizzie's April 2023 card kit. The theme is Rise and Shine. As I'm recording this voiceover, the kit and most of the add-ons are still available and I do have links provided in the description box below. This is a beautiful kit full of lovely florals, perfect for spring. Let's go ahead and get started with card design number one. I selected this lovely soft watercolor design for the background and I'll be layering that piece on some white pearlescent cardstock. This is cardstock from one of Love From Lizzie's add-on bundles. I don't believe it's from the April bundle, but it is from a previous pearlescent cardstock bundle. I'll be adding a strip of this beautiful purple floral paper but first I'll tuck a vellum stitch circle die cut underneath the floral paper. And I've already cut off part of that circle since I knew it would be covered up. And I'll put a little bit of glue in the center of that circle since it will be covered up with a cut apart. Next I'll add a couple of Love From Lizzie peel offs along the edge of the floral paper. This is the lilac mirror color in the pinstripe style. I'm using the medium width on the right side and the narrowest width on the left side. The sentiment on the card will be hello, and this is one sheet from the mini paper pads that are included in the kit. They're two by two inches in size. One of them is all patterns, the other is all sentiments. I'll layer the sentiment on some white pearlescent cardstock, then adhere it on top of the stitch circle die cut. And I'm lifting up that circle to add just a little more glue in the areas where the sentiment sits on top of it. Next I'll add a narrow banner in the upper left hand corner. I'm using some light purple cardstock and this is cardstock from my stash. The kit includes several sheets of colored cardstock but I always bring in additional cardstock since I love adding layers to my cards. To finish off the card, I'm using the beautiful iridescent gem stickers that are included in the kit. For card design number two, I will be using a card sketch for inspiration. This is Sketch Saturday number 707. And if you are interested in any of the sketches I use in this video, I share all of that information on my coordinating blog post. That link is provided in the description box below or you can simply head over to christymarcotte.com. For this card, I selected two pattern papers, beautiful floral card with some purple butterflies for the bottom and a pink tone on tone pattern for the top. I layered both of them on some white pearlescent cardstock and then again on some dark pink cardstock. For a little bit of contrast and lots of sparkle, I put a Love From Lizzie peel off between those two pattern papers. This is the pink holographic color in the pinstripe style. Still my favorite color that Lizzie has to offer. This card will also be featuring one of the sentiment sheets from the mini paper pads. I layered it on the same dark pink cardstock. For the two small strips that are on the right and left side of the sentiment, I'm using some purple pearlescent cardstock and a small piece of light pink cardstock. On the card sketch, there's a narrow strip in the lower left hand corner. Decided to add a couple of Love From Lizzie peel offs. This is the same pink holographic color, but this time I'm using the straight style. It's a little bit wider than the widest width on the pinstripe. I'm using my craft knife to cut the right side and I realize my blade is super dull. So I do pause the video here to go and change my blade and now it cuts beautifully. And for a little extra sparkle, I'll also add a clear iridescent glitter peel off also in the straight design underneath the pink peel off. And I use my craft knife to cut the right side so it's the same length as the pink peel off. I decided the card needed a little more sparkle. I'm using a clear glitter brush and adding it all over the thanks heart. And for a final finishing touch, I'll add two of the Silhouette Butterflies, and this is a die that's included in the kit. I cut them out from the same pink cardstock. I'll add one butterfly on the right side of the heart and one on the left side, more toward the top. So there is my finished card, and this is card number two. For card design number three, the card sketch is from MFT. This is number 290. I'm using this beautiful plaid paper for the background. 
and adding a small piece of this lovely floral paper. The floral paper is the backside of one of the 12 by 12 sheets. There's lots of cut aparts, but if you don't like the cut aparts, you can always use the pattern paper on the opposite side. I'm layering everything on some dark blue cardstock. For the long banner on the left side, I'm using the same dark blue cardstock. Then I have a small piece of some pink cardstock for that smaller banner. I'll attach the blue banner down first, then put glue on the back of the pink banner and adhere it in place. Now I'll add that lovely floral panel. I'll put some ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. For a sentiment, I'm adding Happy Birthday, and this is from Love From Lizzie's Fresh Start stamp set. It was included in a previous kit, but you can also purchase it individually. I stamped it on some white cardstock, cut fishtails on both sides, and I'll adhere it onto the card. And I did leave a little gap on the left side of the sentiment, so I could add a small flower, and this flower I fussy cut out of the pattern paper. I'll adhere that in place using some glue. For a final finishing touch, I'm using some of the new pearls that are included in the kit. Selected the lovely light purple color. I'll add two in the upper left hand corner and three around the sentiment on the right side. And I like to tap my card lightly to flatten those pearls. So there is my finished card and this is card number three. For card design number four, the card sketch is from MFT. This is number 198. I selected two pattern papers. I thought they looked really nice together. Have the blue with all the little seedlings and the yellow with some lovely white flowers. I'll add both of those on some green cardstock. For the narrow strip that goes across the card, I'm using some of the yellow pearlescent cardstock and I did put some double-sided adhesive tape on the back side. I cut that strip just a little bit longer than my card panel. Once I adhered it in place, I simply flipped over the panel, used my scissors to trim it off. For a sentiment, I'm adding Shine Bright, and this is from one of the mini paper pads, the one that has all the sentiments. I used one of Love From Lizzie's Stitch Circle dies to cut it out. Then I used the next size up circle and cut out the yellow border. If you're looking for a good stitch circle or stitched rectangle die set, I really like Love From Lizzie sets since both of them have tons of different sizes and they add that lovely faux stitch detail along the edge. On the card sketch, there's lots of teeny tiny little circles at the bottom of the card. Generally when I've used this sketch, I've skipped that part, but I decided this time I would add all those little circles using Love From Lizzie's mini circle peel offs. This is the gold moon dust color. To help get those circles in a nice straight line, I first use a piece of tacky tape and I use the grid on my craft mat to line up that piece of tape. When adding all the tiny circles, I first started with the one on the left, then I used the grid on my craft mat to get the circle in the very center, then I added the other circle on the right side. So I've basically separated it into two sections. Now I'll add a peel off in the center of each of those sections, creating four sections. And I'll continue to do that until I have a nice row of peel offs going all the way across the card. When adhering the peel offs, the very top of the circle is touching the edge of that tacky tape. I found that was the easiest way to get them all in a nice straight line. Once I have those all in place, I'll simply remove the piece of tacky tape. There is my finished card, and I did end up making a total of two. The second card features the same pattern paper, although I used the opposite side. And the two patterns looked really nice together, so I figured I would make a second card. Now moving on to card design number five. The card sketch is from MFT. This is number 304. For the background of my card, I'm using this beautiful soft pink watercolor design. When I was prepping this card, I miscut that piece. So very carefully, I put those two pieces together, added a strip of double-sided tape on the back side, and I really don't think it's very noticeable on the finished card. 
Always double check those measurements before you cut. For the narrow strip on the right side of the card, I'm using another pattern paper. It's green and it has some small triangles. And I'll layer both of the pattern papers on some dark green cardstock. I'll put some ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. For the large oval on the sketch, I'm using this beautiful floral pattern paper, green with some lovely pink flowers, and I did cut that out using a stitched oval die. For a little bit of contrast, I'm adding a green Love From Lizzie peel off between the pink watercolor paper and that green pattern paper with the triangles. This is the pinstripe style and I'm using the narrowest width. I've already stamped out the sentiment hello and this is from Love From Lizzie's Hello Sunshine stamp set. I stamped it on some pink and white polka dot pattern paper which is the back side of the green and pink floral paper. I cut a fishtail on both ends and to add some fun texture to the card I'm adhering it onto a small piece of the mesh that's included in the kit has these beautiful iridescent threads throughout it. To adhere the sentiment onto that mesh, I used some of the double-sided tape that Lizzie included in the kit, and I flipped over that piece. And now I'll add a couple of the large glue dots that are included in the kit. They're a fairly large size, so I am folding them in half. I'll put two of the glue dots on the back of that mesh piece and adhere the sentiment onto the card. Then for a final finishing touch, I'll add some of the iridescent gem stickers. Put two in the upper left hand corner and three around the sentiment in the lower right hand corner. So there is my finished card and this is card design number five. For card design number six, the card sketch is from Cards TV. This is sketch number 39. The umbrella pattern paper is one of my favorites in the whole kit. Reminds me where I live in Western Washington with all of our rain. I cut it out using one of Lizzie's stitched rectangle dies. And for the background, I'm using a light purple cardstock. And I also cut that out using a stitched rectangle die. I'm adding a strip of some rainbow stripe paper across the center of the card. And this is the back side of the umbrella pattern paper. It's always nice when the front and back side of the paper work well together. I layered the stripe paper on the same purple cardstock and added a Love From Lizzie peel off along the very edge. This is the purple holographic color in the pinstripe style. I layered the background pattern paper onto the purple cardstock. I'm using ATG tape and also a little bit of liquid adhesive along that very outside stitched edge. It'll help it lay nice and flat. And I'll do the same thing when I add my card front onto a card base. It never hurts to use a little extra adhesive. For the two small rectangles indicated on the card sketch, one of them will feature an image and the other I'll add a sentiment. The image box, I'm using some white cardstock, layering it on the same purple cardstock. The sentiment I've already stamped out, Spring Wishes, and I stamped it on some of the pink watercolor pattern paper. I'm changing up this sketch just a little bit. I'll have the sentiment in front of the image box. For an image, I'm adding this cute pair of rain boots, and I did stamp it on some of the pink polka dot pattern paper. Then I simply fuzzy cut out that image, and I'll adhere it onto the white rectangle. I'll add a purple bow underneath the sentiment, and this is ribbon that's included in the kit. I'll adhere it using a small glue dot. Then for a final finishing touch, I'll add some of the iridescent gem stickers. Put two in the upper right hand corner and three in the lower left hand corner. So there is my finished card and this is card design number six. I love how this one turned out. The umbrella pattern paper is super cute. For card design number seven, the card sketch is from OWH. This is sketch number 10. This purple floral paper is another favorite of mine. Using that for the background, adding a panel of the green pattern paper with the small triangles. Instead of layering the green pattern paper, I'll add some Love From Lizzie peel-offs along the edge. And these are the peel-offs that are included in the kit. Beautiful lilac color in the straight design. I'll layer the background on some dark blue cardstock, put some ATG tape on the back, and add my card front onto a card base. The April card kit includes quite a few dies, including two different sizes of tags. 
I'll be using the smaller size tag and it's almost the perfect size for this sketch. I cut out three of them from the white pearlescent cardstock that's included in the kit. Has this fun wavy design on it. And I also use three of the flower dies that are included in the kit on each of the tags. I'm adding a piece of pink cardstock on the back side so you'll be able to see that beautiful floral design from the front of the tag. Then I'll attach all three tags onto the green pattern paper piece. The pink cardstock is a scrap from my stash. It matches the center of the lovely purple flowers. I'll adhere the tag in the center down first, trying to get all three of them evenly spaced. I think the tags look so pretty cut out of the white pearlescent cardstock. And having that wavy design really adds a beautiful detail. For a sentiment, I stamped out Happy Birthday, and this is from Love From Lizzie's Fresh Start stamp set. I stamped the sentiment on some white cardstock using, I believe, the crushed violet ink color from Catherine Pooler. On the left side of the sentiment, I'll cut the two corners at an angle so it sort of has the look of a tag. Then I'll adhere the sentiment underneath the tags on the right side of the card. Instead of adding ribbon bows to the top of the tags, I'll be using a bow die and I cut these out from the same dark blue cardstock. I'll adhere all of those in place using some glue. Then for a final finishing touch, I'm adding some of the iridescent gem stickers to the center of the three flowers. The gem stickers do have adhesive on the back, but since I'm adding them onto some pearlescent cardstock, I'm also adding just a small drop of glue, and that'll help to make sure they don't pop off later. So there is my finished card, and this is card design number seven. For card design number eight, I'm using a full sheet of that beautiful white pearlescent cardstock with a wavy pattern. I'll layer it on some dark blue cardstock, put ATG tape on the back, and add my card front onto a card base. And I forgot to show it in the video, but I am using a card sketch for inspiration. This is OWH number 113. And you can always see the sketches I use on my coordinating blog post. On the left side of the card, I'm adding a strip of the yellow and white floral paper, and I also cut out a narrow strip of the green pattern paper with the tiny triangles. I'll cut a fishtail on the bottom, and I do have some double-sided adhesive tape on the back side of that narrow strip. I'll adhere that to the center of the yellow piece. The card kit includes several sheets of cut-apart images and sentiments. One sheet has all these beautiful floral images, they look like the front of a seed package. With spring just starting, all the daffodils are popping up, so I thought it would be appropriate to use the daffodil image. Plus, daffodils were one of my mom's favorite flowers, so it really reminded me of her. It's very sad that she didn't get to see them bloom this year. I'm adding a little bit of sparkle to the three blooms using a clear glitter brush, and I also added two small mini circle peel-offs. So there is my finished card, and I did make two using this design. I made daffodils for my mom and tulips for me since that's my favorite flower. Now moving on to card design number nine. I love the mini paper pads that are included in the kit. I've used a couple from the Sentiment mini paper pad, but this time I'm using the mini paper pad that's all designed. There's a total of 18 designs, and there's two of each. So I've separated out the first 18 sheets, then I'll cut out all 18 of the patterns using a hexagon die. And I'll cut out just a few of them here on camera using my mini die cut machine by Honeybee Stamps. Sometimes it's nice to have the smaller die cut machine so I can sit at my desk instead of stand over at my die cut station. So here they are all cut out, 18 hexagons in 18 different patterns and I'll be adding all 18 to one card. I have a piece of white cardstock, and this is cut down to four inches by five and a quarter inches, and one by one, I'll glue down all of the hexagons, and I'm leaving a slight border between each of them. This is a great way to use up some of those small pattern paper scraps and to include quite a few patterns on one card. You do want to make sure the patterns at least coordinate together. And that's the nice thing about this mini paper pad. They all work beautifully together. 
As I'm adhering them down, I'm trying to mix and match the colors so I don't have two pinks right next to each other or two greens. And I'm doing the same thing for the patterns so I won't have two stripes next to each other or two polka dots. Once I have most of that panel covered with hexagons, I'll flip it over, trim off any of the overhang. Now I still have those areas on the right and left side. Here's where I'll use those extra pieces that I trimmed off and I do still have a few hexagons that haven't been featured. The final areas are the four corners and there are a couple of patterns that I did repeat but they're just very small pieces on the outside edge. I'll trim off the rest of the extra, then I'll use one of Love From Lizzie's stitched rectangle dies to cut out this panel. And I think that gives it a fun quilted look. My mom was a super talented quilter, so this is another card dedicated to her. I will be popping up this entire panel using some foam dimensional tape, and I'll adhere it onto some light purple pearlescent cardstock. And this is part of the pearlescent cardstock bundle from Love From Lizzie. One of the corners of the pattern paper did fall off, so I must not have had enough adhesive on there. So I'll put a little more glue underneath that piece and adhere it back in place. For a little extra detail, I'm using some white Love From Lizzie peel-offs along the very outside edge of that purple pearlescent cardstock. This is the narrowest width. After I add all four pieces, I did cut them just a little bit wider than the card panel. I'll use my craft knife and miter the corners, remove those extra little pieces, then press those corners together. And that'll create this really fun frame. I'll put some ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. For a sentiment, I'm adding for you, and this is a Love From Lizzie die set. I think it's called sentiment dies. It includes several different words that you can mix and match together to create different sentiments. I like that it has the word and also the outline for the words. With all those beautiful pattern papers, I really don't want to cover it up. So I'm using some dark blue cardstock for the sentiment and vellum for the outline. That way you can still see most of the pattern behind the sentiment. I'll adhere all of those together using some glue and very carefully add some glue on the back side of each of those pieces, making sure it doesn't show through on the vellum. And I'll adhere the sentiment in the lower right hand corner. I'll adhere the word you down first, that way I can get placement correct for the entire sentiment. Then I'll add the word for above it and off to the left slightly. For a final finishing touch, I'll add some more of the iridescent gem stickers. Put two in the upper left hand corner and three around the sentiment. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. I'm a little sad that I used up all of the mini paper pad with the designs. Now moving on to card design number 10 and this is my final card design. Really wanted to use the fun stencil that's included in the kit. The stencil is about four by four inches and it has this bubble frame. The very center is solid so you can add an image or sentiment there. That open area spot is about two by two inches. So it's the perfect spot to add one of the two by two mini paper pad pieces. I used an assortment of orange and pink inks from Catherine Pooler to create this really fun bubbly frame. Instead of adding one of the mini paper pad sentiments, I'll stamp this lovely floral blossom in pink. And I am doing second generation stamping so I can have a lighter ink color. I'll remove the floral stamp, add the sentiment stamp Spring Wishes, ink it up using some black ink, and stamp the sentiment directly on top of that light pink flower. For the background of the card, I'm using this fun pattern paper. It's the back side of one of the cut apart sheets. I will be layering my bubble frame on some pink cardstock, but first I'm using a stitch square die to cut out the center of that frame. I'll put adhesive on the back of the frame and layer it on some pink cardstock. Then I'll put some foam dimensional tape on the back of the sentiment square. Make sure to get good coverage so there isn't one area that sags. I'll remove the release paper and adhere it back inside that bubble frame. 
It'll add a little extra interest and you can still see just a peak of the pink cardstock underneath the sentiment square. Then I'll put adhesive on the back and adhere my bubble frame onto the pattern paper. And you'll only see a little bit of that pattern paper on the right and left side. I'll add my card front onto a card base. Using one of the ribbons that's included in the kit, I've tied a small bow and I'll adhere it underneath the sentiment using a small glue dot. I've never been good at tying bows using ribbon, but I seem to be able to manage it using the skinny ribbon that Lizzie likes to put in her kits. For a final finishing touch, I'm using some more of the pearl drops that are included in the kit. This time the light pink color that matches beautifully with the pattern paper. I put three drops in the upper left hand corner and two drops in the lower right hand corner. And I do have a small scrap piece of cardstock just to make sure to get out any of the air bubbles. So there is my finished card and this is card design number 10. Now here's another look at the 13 cards I made using Love From Lizzie's April 2023 card kit. The theme is Rise and Shine. This kit is filled with beautiful floral designs and cheerful colors. And Lizzie always adds tons of fun goodies to her kits. She also has a lot of great add-ons that coordinate with the kits. If you are interested in purchasing the kit or any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. This is a monthly kit, so quantities are always limited. The only way to guarantee receiving a kit is to sign up and subscribe. Once the kit sells out, that's it, it's gone forever. And with all the lovely designs in this kit, I have a feeling this one will go pretty quickly. Lizzie's kits always include stash building items. There's a stamp set, dies. This month there's also a stencil. And all of her kits include a brand new sheet of her amazing peel-offs. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.